Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Box. In this video, I'm finally going to do a sneak peek and a flip through of my book, Treasure Book Making, which is available for purchase now. I will leave the links in the description box down below. I'm pretty sure you can order it all over the world. The only thing is that Australia, UK, Europe, the release date is a month behind the US. So it's already been released in the US. The book has the first printing of the book. It's already all sold and the book has gone into second reprinting. And that's actually really good news for me and for the book in any case. So about the book, I created a book that I needed to read. I created a book that I wish I had when I first started making junk journals and diving into the world of book binding. I had so many questions and the more I was going down the rabbit hole, the more questions I had and everything was all over the place for me. Like I needed things categorized and I need to understand things. And if you watch my videos, you know this, when I do tutorials, I often have steps written out because that's just the way I like things, right? So when I first started, I was very confused about all sorts of different things. Like what exactly is a junk journal? Like I know what a junk journal, but what is a junk journal? How do you, how do you use it? How, what's the point really? What is the point of a junk journal? What's the difference between an art journal and a junk journal and a glue book and a mini album and a smash book? And, oh, you know, what is a, what is shabby chic? What is steampunk? What is a theme? What is a style? What is my style and how do I find it? I consumed myself with the style thing. I kept thinking, what is my style? I need to have a style. Should this be my style? Yes, this will be my style. And then, no, 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 this isn't my style. It was, I don't know, am I the only one or do you feel that way? Sometimes I see people ask those questions. In any case, this is a comprehensive book that not only provides you with step-by-step -step instructions, which is the main bulk of the book on various projects, but it also gives you a wider understanding on what this is all about. All the different definitions, descriptions, terminology, experiences, and what it all means. We cover things like how to find your style, how to get out of a rut, how to overcome creative blocks, etc. As well as, of course, step-by-step -step instructions on creating beautiful works of art. And on top of that, lots and lots of ideas on how you can expand on the ideas and the projects presented in this book. Whether you're a journal making beginner or a veteran, I really do think you're going to find this book informative and helpful. I could be a little bit biased, but this, I'm gonna show you, in fact, I'm gonna show you right now why I think that. So I'm gonna spin you around and let's dive into the book. Sorry, Benjo, I woke you up. It's okay, boy, I love you. I forgot to mention that if you don't wish to purchase online, you can also order the book from your local bookstore and I'm pretty sure your local library as well give it a go why not so to start off with this book is quite large you can see here i placed it next to my ruler you can see my hands so it's a large book and it has 271 pages and it's got over 600 images i it took me over a year to write the book and i took over 10,000 photos of which just over 600 actually ended up being in the book all right let's have a look inside the book is called Treasure Book Making, Crafting Handmade Sustainable Journals. And here you can see the contents. The book is divided in four parts. In part one, we are discussing what is this all about? Why sustainable handmade books and repurposing junk? Why not just go to a bookstore and buy a $2 blank notebook? We're diving into the world of handmade books, speaking about terminology, themes and styles of journals and why and how to use a junk journal. So let me just show you quickly. 
This is what I spoke about before, page 13, terminology. We're looking at what is a junk journal, what is an art journal, glue book, scrapbook, mini album, the difference between all of those, smash book, travels notebook. And then we're moving into themes, all of the different themes that you can explore when making your books, all of the different styles, you know, that's gonna give you lots of inspiration when creating your books topics you can explore and why and how to use a junk journal this is one of the questions i often get what is the point of this whole thing right in part two we are getting started so we're talking about all of the materials that you need to gather now this book is not going to prompt you to go out and buy things that's my whole philosophy you don't need to buy all the special stuff you can start creating with things you have at home right now that's why the title is Crafting Handmade Sustainable Journals. Then we're moving on to anatomy of a book, just like anatomy of body, you have the bones and the heart and the liver and all of that. Same thing with a book, anatomy of a book. For example, what is head and tail of the book, hinge, groove, foredge, end papers, end sheets, and so on. We're then exploring book cover options, all the different things that you can use for your book cover, signature assembling, what is a signature, you know, paper dyeing techniques, sachet share recipes, binding techniques. Let's have a look at binding techniques. Page 55, all the different book binding techniques that are out there, tab binding, case binding, long stitch binding, secret Belgian binding, all of that stuff. Embellishing your journal, creative additions and techniques, page 61. For example, tags, it's such a simple thing and it's such a common thing to place into a journal, yet there's often confusion about what is the point of a tag and how do you use a tag in a journal. Page tabs, closures, journaling spots, card writing board, you know, I'm not going to read out all of the things, but there's also examples here. You can see all those photographs that I was talking about. So that's going to give you lots of inspiration and something to help you kind of while you're building your books and making your books you know when you're thinking about what should i add next and what should i add on this page that's where you go to get all of the ideas now part three which is the main bulk of the book are actual projects step-by-step -step projects to make we're doing all sorts of different things we're making hardcover books envelope books removable page journal soft cover books booklets notepads and other ideas so this part three is also broken down into sections and specific projects that you can make so let me show you an example of a project let's go to project idea number 13 which is a tissue box junk journal page 193 oh look four hands okay at the start of each project there is a full color page of the end result that you're going to achieve by following all of the steps that I have for that particular project. So you can see all of the steps are explained in written form and also just as I do in the video, in book form, of course, it's still photographs. All of the steps are very, very detailed. I wanted to make sure that it's very straightforward. That was my plan. That's my goal with the book. I want everyone to be able to recreate the exact same thing that you see on the pages. And then also, as I mentioned before, at the end of the project, there's always ideas on how you can take this further and perhaps how you can adapt it to your own needs. Okay, let's have a look at another project. Let's have a look at soft cover books, project idea number eight, gift bag junk journal, page 141. And here it is, we're using gift bags to create a junk journal. And again, all of the steps are in written down and also in photograph forms. And then of course, ideas, final touches and taking it further. Okay, let's get a bit closer so you can see the table of contents. I forgot to mention here in paper dyeing techniques, I share recipes and all of the different things that you can use to dye the pages. You know, I really don't think I've missed anything in this book. Here you can see what is a signature, signature assembly, number of pages per signature, number of signatures per book, all the different things you can use to uh, dye your papers and recipes and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. Anyway, moving along to part number four. So you now know what this is all about. You now know how to make all, all of the projects. And part four is about where do you go from here? And that's where we talk about how to find your style. 
understanding the creative cycle and overcoming creative blocks. All artists go through periods of high inspiration and then no inspiration or otherwise known as being stuck in a rut. What is that all about and what can you do about it? I mean, there's plenty you can do about it, all explained in the book. We move into frequently asked questions such as how can I sell my junk journals? And then, of course, as you can see here, journaling prompts. Journaling prompts are there to help you start journaling. It's not something that you have to do. But if you want to use your books in a specific kind of way, journaling prompts are going to help with that process. And then we have conclusion about the author, just a little bit about me. And at the end, examples and inspiration of my personal complete junk journal. So there's photographs you can see here, some photographs that I have included of my personal junk journal and how I actually use the books that I make, if I'm not selling them, of course. You know, it's really difficult to show you a body of work that I've spent over a year writing without kind of giving too much away. Like I don't want to give it all away in this video because of course I want you to have the book as, a, as your companion, right? So as I said, it took me over a year to write this book and it, it was a struggle because I wanted to make it perfect. And let me tell you, most of the time, this is what it felt like while writing this book. Yet the book is in my hands and all the tears and all the sweat was well worth it. And isn't that usually the case with things that are difficult? Once you get it done, you know, it's worth it, which is what I'm hoping with my rescue dog, that that's the way it's going to go. I'm, it's already worth it. Anyway, I want to thank you so much for choosing to support me by purchasing this book. I want to thank all the lovely souls out there that have already purchased the book, left me reviews, sent me messages. I can't even try to put it into words how much this means to me, how much those messages mean to me, people reading my book and loving it. It means really the world to me because I wrote this book for me and I wrote this book for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Actually, one last thing before I go, perhaps you want to meet my baby Banjo. Well, he's not my, he's not actually my baby, but he's a dog, a rescue dog. And I'm gonna call him now so you can meet him if he comes. We're still getting to know one another. Banjo, come here, boy, come, come here, come here, boy. Come here, come on, hi boy, hi, what's this, hi Banjo, here's my boy, look over there, <laughs> Banjo, the camera, Banjo, <laughs> the camera is over there, you see that, here's your Banjo, look over there, over there, we have, we have we're still learning behavior, <laughs> so Banjo, look, camera is over there, what's this, what's this, what's this, see that, see, what's this, what's this, that's a camera, that's Banjo, well it's not your camera, Okay, off. Okay, ready. Off. Come on. Off. Oh. Not on. Off. Off, Banjo. Banjo. Ow, oh, your paws are hurting me, boy. Your paws are hurting me. Okay, let's get some treats. Let's get some treats. All right, that's Banjo. Good boy. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, which will be coming out very soon. This book provides you with step-by-step -step instruction, which is the main bulk of the book. Bulk. Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In this video, I am finally going to do a sneak peek and a little bit of a flip through inside my newest book, newest book as if I've wrote 20, inside my book, Treasure Bookmaking, by moi.
Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Oh, this beauty. Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. I'll show you the inside of the book and I suppose that's what I'm gonna do now. 